Hey everybody, welcome to this quick guide, tips and tricks for the duelist. I feel like the duelist is a little bit weak in the early game, like the rogue, but without the invisibility. So you have your lunge ability here on your rapier, a very strong ability. I in fact really love it. Um, I use it the same way I would use the rogue's cloak. I get a guaranteed hit that does a little bonus damage. So let's get into the guide. My main tips and tricks for the duelist early game surviving is almost just like the rogue. Um, I mean, so here we go. The snake sees us, so the snake's always going to die, so we lunge. And, you know, we basically just lunge as much as we can, and we get lucky and get an amazing spear, perhaps. Perhaps, we'll see. You have to be, I feel like the warrior strength, sorry, I'm really having a hard time saying, it, but it's like the warrior is melee, the rogue is melee, the duelist is melee, the mage is kind of hybrid, you can get almost all range, but you still kind of have to do melee. So how do you, how do you make it work, you know? the warrior has their armor their armor boost so i feel like that makes it up and the rogue has the ability to you know go stealth well the duelist just really has their weapon ability so it really comes down to using those to your advantage the rats you know i often try to save my throwing weapons um the rats are manageable i think so i will just pull them back to the doors here well that one didn't wake up so i may just lunge one second here when dog was doing that thing where they want to get on your lap, get off your lap, get on your lap, get off, up and down, up and down. You know, I really wish I had a lot more to say about the duelist, except he just lunge in. And that's kind of about it. Um, I'm actually, I am going to use a, a charge here. No, okay, it woke up. So, and we got our lunge back. So I think what I'd like to do actually is stand here at the door and I'll wait and I'll get the lunge. And then just like, and then I'll kite back to the door. So it's almost like that same two hit combo with the rogue where you get the door surprise and then you stealth and then you get the one more hit. Well, with the, the duelist, it's like you lunge and then you go to the door and then you get the other hit. The, um, I mean, it's not necessarily bonus damage when you're surprising behind the door, but it is 100% accuracy, which in my opinion is definitely worth, you know, taking the extra time to go back to the door. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually checking the door first to make sure there's no pesky creatures in there. So when I do lure the rat back, I don't want to be surrounded. And there is indeed a snake back there. So let's go ahead and see if we can take it out from range before it wakes up. And yes, we did get it. That's great. So here we go. We will lunge. And nice, we got the one hit kill on that one. Um, So here we go. One, two, and one, two, three. So the rat will get hit with the trap, not us. So we'll do that. And then I think we just bring it back to the door here. There we go. That's great. So the rapier, since it blocks a little damage, I think it does a little less than like the worn short sword, for example. Oopsies. Don't click on the map. And you know what? It's hard to say. It's hard to say there's much more. I would say it kind of starts to turn into just an overall game guide where you know what's going on in each level. Like next floor, floor two, we're going to start fighting gnolls. And so we might want to use our throwing spikes on those to weaken them up because they, they're they going to hit pretty hard. And then floor three, of course, we have the dreaded crabs. And then when we get into the prisons, it's the same kind of situation with the, uh, the prison guards. And then, you know, the caves, I'm not too threatened by much in the caves. They're more just annoyed. Um, and by the time we're getting through the caves, we should be getting strong enough. So I'll make a follow up video to this one like I did with the other ones where I continue this playthrough and we try to convert ourselves into an end game build. So for right here, I think I'll just go ahead and lunge and there we go. Get the one shot kill on that. That's great. Love to see that. And how are we doing here on floor one? So I went with the ring over the wand. I don't know what it is yet. And I'm too scared to put it on in case it's cursed. Same with you, there, little bucket spear. It does have a positive enchantment. So that may mean it's less chance of being cursed. I actually don't know. Yeah, alrighty. Looks like we're all done here. Let's go down. So let's fight a couple gnolls. 
and then i'll probably be wrapping up this video it'll probably it's just gonna be a little short one um with the uh i mean moving forward you're gonna keep getting different items right and it's just really gonna have to take advantage of them so the spike is great to use once because it knocks them back so it can really help counter the slow weapon and then if we get a mace um that's the one that has a low accuracy but it hits it for extra damage and does vulnerable it's one of my favorite early and middle game weapons because i always use it after i kite behind the door because you have the 100 accuracy from the surprise attack so then you use the mace's ability it hits extra hard and makes the enemy weak and vulnerable which is just gonna mean they're gonna take more and more damage so at level two now i may go ahead and save my lunges and just like double lunge on a knoll because the knolls are going to hurt a little bit more. I don't know. Just do a little sneak. A little searching. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Okay. Maybe we... Let's see. Maybe we quick lunge the snake. And then... <laughs> it is fun to just to lunge and lunge and lunge and just kill everything like that. I really love that animation. But I'm not going to do I'm going to save some charges because we're surely going to encounter some knolls eventually. Not yet. Mm hmm there we go double no yikes so maybe let's see here's a core staff maybe we can wake just one up let's let's try to oh they both woke up i don't like that and now since they're always going to be right next to us we're not going to be able to get the lunge which is a bummer i may go ahead and bring it back to this door you know when a door is nearby you can just keep bringing them back be careful doing that though, because if you get too fancy, you may end up getting surrounded by more enemies and it's not even worth it. So I'm going to keep playing through this a little bit more and I'll jump in when I get a couple of good juicy nuggets info. I think if you look at the layout here, this is telling me there's probably a secret door around here. I feel like these rooms got to connect. So let's give a little search. Maybe not. Aha, there it is. I think we have enough right here to go lunge. Yeah, lunge is doing pretty good damage. For talents, I find this two points and this one to be very amazing if you're doing just like a regular champion run because champions are going to use a lot of different weapons. Um, if you're doing challenges, I find this one's very useful for the extra health. And the one point in here seems to always be good. Sometimes I'll skip this one then if I'm trying to put two in multiples. So let's go right away. Let's go with the extra damage. So now that we're about to go down to floor three and start fighting those pesky armored crabs, I am willing to use an identify scroll. I think if because this, if this is plus one, it'll help us out quite a bit. Um, I usually don't like doing that because if I can save them and identify things just by equipping them naturally, that seems to you know help help us save some resources. But I think it'll be worth it so let's go ahead and give this a read and see no it's not plus one so oh well so this actually feels so much like the um the rogue to me it's just backwards so the rogue you do the door surprise and then you cloak and then you get a finishing attack well the duelist you do the lunge and then you pull back to the door and get the finishing attack so both ways we're only taking one counter attack and that's the trick here to, to minimize the incoming damage as much as possible there is the first grab of the adventure i don't want to fight it and the fly at the same time so maybe i can there you go just the fly came hopefully the crab didn't wake up so uh with the flies i like to do the most damage when it splits so the split goes on the the second part And I dropped a golden potion, which we already had two of. So we're looking good on that level. Unfortunately, we're looking bad on the lunge front. I think I might try and get this crab. No, not you, snake. Mm. Okay, I think I might try and get this crab. Where it? Where it? There it is. So let's just get, get two spikes. Hopefully a lunge recharges by the time uh, it gets close to us. Hopefully a lunge recharges. Nope. Okay, I think we're probably taking a little damage. Come on. Oh, the lunge recharge, but we're not. Can't do it when we're within five feet or when they're right next to you. Adjacent, you could say. Here's an unfortunate situation where the knoll was right behind the grass here. So I'm, I'm going to do a little ring around the grass here. Oops, not if I misclick. Don't zoom in so I don't misclick and go diagonal. Here we go. 
Here we go. Just like we'll give it the goo treatment. It's a little fancy, but it's not that fancy. Okay, so now that I have most of the floor, if not all of it, cleared out and explored, now I'll go ahead and talk to the ghost because it's floor three, the null trickster. I find that one very annoying. So now that I talked to the ghost, it should have spawned. So maybe I'll just watch the doors as I walk around and see any of them open. I do like to stand in a, a smaller room to fight it. I hate getting hit from like way across. Huh? Oh, there it is. I'm guessing that's it. Unless that's the ghost because I did talk to the ghost. So that probably despawned it and respawned it somewhere. There's another door open. So, oh, it's a crab. We don't like it. At least we get a free lunch. Free lunch would be nicer of crab. And yeah, you know, the thing is they, they're so dang fast, so you can't really drag them back to the door. Okay, oh, that door opened. Could that be the null trickster? I'm just going to wait a second. Oh, it's the ghost. <laughs> ghost, you're trolling me. Get out of here. Where's that null? I'm just going to wait and watch the doors. Where is it? Stay here, ghost. I don't need to see any other doors opening. Oh, there it is. All right, we got it. Now, hopefully it does the door jam. Hopefully it just jumps back at us. Come on, be a Scorpio. Oh, man, is it going off? Dang, that sucks. Sometimes they'll just get stuck in a loop and they'll just keep coming through the door again. Okay, so it went over there. At least it's not going to shoot us from across the map, so maybe we can chase it down. Oh, did you see it? I didn't see any other doors. Open. Okay, there it is. Mm, let's get over here. Let's see if it goes down this. Oh, it went up. No, it didn't. Uh, you tricked me. And we're poisoned, but it appears to have worn off already. You know what? I want to lunge. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Lunge is overpowered against this because it runs away every time and you just keep lunging. I did that rapier uh, playthrough earlier with the duelist and uh, I chased the Scorpios down in the demon halls like with the lunge. It was really fun. Okie dokie. Well... Runic Blade's cool. Um, I don't really have armor yet, so I'm going to go armor and hopefully I can use this in the in the prisons. Let's just check it out here. Please be plus one. Nah, it's plus nothing. Oh, well. So here, I if I step back, the crab will go too and it'll be out of lunge range. So I'm just going to wait because I need to get an opening lunge attack. Something to get us ahead in the damage against these because we still haven't gotten any uh, upgrades for weapon or armor. But at least when we get the next strength potion, we'll be get, able to get into the spear. So, you know, I felt like I could have ended this video at like four minutes. But since there are so many different uh, weapons that have their own unique abilities for the duelist, I feel like if I go for it a little bit more, it may be of value. Well, this is a beautiful room we have found. This is room of opportunities. I'm going to see if I can get one crab and hopefully not wake them both up. We'll just go with the close one. Okay, good, good. I would love to lunch here, but man, I just don't want to wake that one up. So I'm going to... Oh, I think I clicked twice. Hey, got to be careful with the uh, the keyboard. You can press and hold a little bit there. Not... See, this is the world we're in right now. I'm really not loving it. I did see that door open, so I just might sneak over here quick. Just make sure we don't get pincered. Okay, nothing there. So we'll try to get this other crab in. So it's going to go one, two. So I will lunge. I'll wait and lunge. Sounds like a, like a workout routine. Be like the wait and the lunge. And we may be looking at sneaking down to floor five and taking a quick nap. Because we are getting hurt a lot. We just got this wand of fire blast. And since I'm not liking this predicament, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot it. It may be cursed. I don't know yet. No, it's not cursed. Fantastic. I almost want to like keep this note alive a little bit longer and let it body block for me while the while the crab burns and get yeah, get the crab to come into the door and like extend its burn and maybe I can step back and dodge it. Nice. That's gonna help us out a lot. I love the smell of a burnt slime in the morning. Well, I think I'm actually going to stop this video here and move on to the following the um the middle early game, the middle converting into end game build with the duelist. Because for the sewers, I think, honestly, I basically covered it in the first four minutes. Get to the door, lunge for a big shot, drag back to the door, surprise attack for the finish off. And, and then when it comes to all the other weapons and stuff, that's more kind of a mid game thing. And I'd rather cover that when I have them. 
And so, yeah, just go ahead and tune in tomorrow for that. So I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, I don't have a good follow-up for that. I was going to say, if you didn't, well, I hope you learned something. <laughs> if you didn't learn anything, I hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't enjoy, well, I hope, hope you learned something. All right, cheers.